Okay, so I have the Blackhawk Diversion Bag here. This one is the uh, Diversion Board Pack. I got this because I was, uh, I was really excited to finally have a, a low profile covert bag that I could put my Tavor in and it fits my Tavor just perfectly. Right off the bat, I, ha I give this bag a five star and a one star. It's a love-hate relationship right now with this bag. I just got it. I haven't even taken the tags off of it. This is a very initial review because I've already had one problem with it. Um, sort of a catastrophic failure <clears throat> that I have to fix. My fix should be coming in today and it wasn't something that I felt like I should contact warranty. I'll, I'll explain it all. So, um, so essentially what this bag is, and I'll just give my overview, is that uh, it's meant to look like a board pack where you could put a skateboard in here and you know tighten it down I also like this because you know I go on a weekend trip and I hate carrying multiple bags I hate carrying a camera bag a range bag a rifle bag and a weekend or clothing bag and and you know toiletry case it just drives me crazy carrying all these different bags and it just looks ridiculous so I I finally got this bag because I figured I'd downsize everything and then I could I could um, vacuum seal my clothing in a package with some other things and put it where this board pack goes. So I could put it here and then put it here and then buckle these buckles again, tighten her down, and that would have space for all my clothes and toiletries for a weekend uh, by the range. Um, it's made by Blackhawk. I ordered it from LAPoliceGear.com, which in my opinion has just been great with their customer services. They used to years ago take a long time with their orders, but uh, now they do it. Now they do a much better job. So I actually have the rifle in here, and that's just about all I have in here. You can see two water pockets uh, for um, for water jugs. They fit my two liter, but the uh, aside from that. They don't have any sort of retention here. There's no sort of um, buckle or anything here that would retain a, a very large water bottle. So, I mean, you could, it's very wide as if it's for a large water bottle, but um, I carry the two liters uh, Nalgene's and I don't really think they would uh, fit that, but I'm, I'll give it a try later. That's not really uh, important. It has two main rifle compartments. You can see my Tavor, now that I've opened it up, is already sticking out. I have, uh, I've put two pouches in here already. Um, I have to get more. I didn't want to get any uh, beforehand. This is a 40 rounder. This isn't a regular magazine. Um, it's a 40 rounder, so they don't really make any pouches for that. Um, it's got molly webbing inside. You can see that the molly webbings, um, are longer they go about let's see one two three four five six across and then up here is about four so I got pistol packs a uh, pistol mag pouches rifle mag pouches I'm gonna configure that make sure I, you know it's basically I'm gonna put a, uh, a travel cleaning kit in here first aid and um, handgun and rifle um, there's this divider here which is the padding is very nice I like it it's thick you can see that it's just about, uh, you know, it's thick enough where it's not going to print. I don't know about printing through this yet, but uh, it seems pretty good. I, I think with the magazine pouches and everything there, it wouldn't really print the actual rifle. So here I have the rifle, which is my Tavor with the Mepro light. Um, it fits perfectly. At the bottom is a pouch, uh, like a cup, a cloth cup or a nylon uh, cup, which you would put your barrel into. And then here it has these retaining loops where you can fit them around your rifle. And I haven't even positioned these, so I'm really stretching it. And then, boom, you would have your rifle very, very retained. It fits the Tavor just about perfectly. I have the stock muzzle brake on it. Um, you can see that it's gonna zipper just about perfectly here um, and I like that it doesn't move at all it really is tight um, I don't know if I can put the rifle in here and put pouches I don't think I can so I think this is just gonna be a dedicated Tavor uh, pocket 
Um, but I, the, even the back is a lot of padding, so it's not like the Tavor is pressed up against my back or anything. And that's just the initial review. As to the catastrophic failure, um, I'll flip the bag over and show you. It's really pissed me off. I only owned the bag about five minutes before I put it on and it fell right off my bag. I didn't even have a chance to put my rifle in it or any pouches or anything. It was a completely empty bag. But uh, one thing I do like is these, uh, these loops for the zipper. These are nice. I, I feel like I could lock the bag somewhat. Uh, it has little loops here, little plastic loops where you could put a small travel lock on it. You could put a bigger lock if you wanted to do this guy. Um, and they're just really easy to yank and pull. Uh, it's a pretty simple bag and I, I still like it. It's got a five star and a one star. Here's where the one star comes in. Broken buckle. Hadn't had it more than five minutes until it broke. Now. I don't suspect a lot of people are going to be doing that, but here in Pennsylvania, it gets really hot and it gets really cold and it changes weather uh, all the time. Not unusual, you know. I think that these plastic things just uh, when it gets cold, they get really brittle. And uh, you know, if you if you train, if you shoot, if you don't take an entire season off, um, and you expect from this bag as advertised. You know, they advertised it as basically like a tier one bag, that there's a Secret Service counter recon, and um, you know, other guys who want to be able to carry their firearms sort of clandestinely, and even be able to, um, you know, in a two-man team, um, be able to, you know, one person engage with their handgun, and the other person steps behind the other person, unzippers it, pulls out a rifle, and then boom, you've got um, you're able to counter a, a serious, you know, terrorist or ground-based attack, um, and you're sort of flipping the element of surprise on them. I got this bag just because I want to be able to walk in inside, in and out of my house, in and out of the range without looking like a, uh, you know, an overly woodsy, redneck, gun-toting guy. Uh, and if this was sitting in my car, it would just look like another uh, backpack. If I'm walking in and out of a hotel, even. It's not, you know, incredibly obvious what I what I have. I really like that, and that it does very well. These plastic buckles, though, if you were serious about using this in a, um, you know, a defensive, a serious defensive application, these buckles have got to go. I'm replacing the D loops. I'm gonna replace them with something metal. I'm looking into that now. I'm gonna replace th this buckle. I think is fine because it's just, you know, across your chest. These guys here. These are getting the boot. This is where all the weight of the entire bag will rest. And if a door slams on it, or you bump up against something, I don't know how I broke this. It did not have any weight on it, so it wasn't a load-bearing issue. But, you know, boom, catastrophic failure. If it had a rifle in it, it would have fell on, off my back and, and, and uh, fell into uh, the ground. So I have my Mepro light on it. I know my Mepro light can take a beating. Um, but if, you know, if you had some um, some you know some serious optics that you want to take that you want to take good care of. Um, definitely replace these buckles. I do not trust them anymore. Um, otherwise, the way the the webbing is set up is all fine. I'm I'm fine with it. It's good. It has um, extra space here, so you can put carabiners or, or additional things on it. Uh, that's all good. The stitching is double. I like how they've done all the X stitching here. Um, they've done it right. Some some places do single all around. That's not how it's supposed to be. There's actually a way, a, a proper way to do these X's. And I know what I'm talking about in regards to fabrics. Um, they've done these right. The cross stitching, the double stitching, the, the webbing, the inserts, the padding, they've all been stitched right. Um, good double stitching. And uh, it's not just about double stitching. It's about stitch using the right kind of stitch. Um, it just takes a little bit of extra time. So the, the loops and laces I'm, I'm, I'm good with, it's just this buckle that really gives it a one star because in any sort of serious application it wouldn't, it would not hold up, you know. Um, and I'm lucky, I'm glad it happened to me within the first five minutes. There's no doubt in my mind I could have contacted LA Police Gear or Black Hawk and they would have replaced the bag immediately. Um, instead, I've, gone, I've opted to replace these buckles entirely because even if I was to get a brand new bag, 
I still have the same buckles, which I feel like could go on me at any moment. So I'm replacing both of these, and I'm gonna get um, some backup metal buckles um, or plastic ones that have a metal rod insert here so they're easy to replace. Um, you know, in terms of emergency preparedness, we often get quality gear. We seek to get quality gear so that it doesn't fail on us when there's no Amazon Prime shipping and there's no first in, first out. I can, you know, I can just go down to EMS and find some patch or find some fix, and I don't feel like duct taping the whole thing. Um, but in, you know, in real life, and you know, stuff fails, and I'm not going to write off the entire bag just because the buckle was the weakest link. I'm going to replace the buckles. I'm going to upfit that. And then I think this will be a really, really fantastic bag and fit everything I want it. So in that light, it gets both a one star and a five star. With the fixes, I think it'll be five star overall. I'm really happy about it. It's very light. One more thing, this uh, handle here is just great. It's metal on the inside. You can feel it and when you hold it up, um, you can tell like you're, you're holding onto something solid. It's not just uh, nylon where you feel like you're, you're uh, really putting a lot of extra uh, wear and tear on just picking up and putting it down your bag. Um, I, can't, I can't regularly tell if they are plastic or if they are metal. Can't regularly tell if they're plastic or metal, but these I'm gonna replace, these I'm gonna watch out for, these I'm gonna replace with some sort of metal because um, if they're not already, they feel, they don't feel like plastic, they feel like metal. These I'm gonna look into because from my experience, you're constantly, if you're right-handed, you're always picking it up by this strap when you're picking it up like a backpack. Um, so I've always, my bags always fail here because I really yank the bag up onto my uh, back and they always start to fail here. So this is, the, I'm gonna watch out for this. This feels great. And um, yeah, that's really all there is to it. This is just a, uh, you know, a quick, uh, first impression review. I'm really excited to uh, check the bag out and give it some give it some advanced testing. The zippers, if you're curious, they're thick, they're big, they're double stitched all the way around, and uh, I think they're solid. I think they're as, as best as anyone can expect. I'm Michael Raven. Ready? Thanks for watching. Con consider subscribing. I'll post a follow up uh, video to this guy once I get it fixed and once I've uh, you know. Put some rounds through the rifle and constantly put it back and use it as a range bag and use it in the application intended. Thanks so much. Aha, how's that?